Hey, what is up, everybody? This is John from Magic Tech Review. How are you guys doing? And in today's video, uh, we're gonna be just talking, chit chatting, getting, uh, getting, you know, <laughs> I don't know, catching up with everybody. And I got my special guest as usual right here. What's up, buddy? Pretty good, pretty good, man. Just chilling. I just got back from a delivery. You already know, man. Just keeping busy working. You already know, man. Trying to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, bro, I've been doing those deliveries, man. But I'm I'm retiring. I'm officially retiring from doing the deliveries, man. I'm, oh damn! I, I bet. I mean, especially on a scooter, man. I feel like I would. Well, I mean, you're on a moped, right? So I think I would be kind of tired on doing it on a scooter. So then let's see if we can. Let's see. Okay, I, I did get the notification that you're live, by the way. So so let's see if we can. Like, we got, there we go. We got Luke Tech Gaming in the house. Hey, Michael says, yo, all right. Damn, everybody's like, hey, where <laughs> you been? Have you been, Mr. John? Yeah, I know, man. I know I've been MIA. So, uh, Little John's been having a lot of seizures, a lot of, lot of medical issues. So, um, like, you know, it's been pretty, been pretty rough and whatnot. So, and he's, he's on a lot of medication. Uh, he's been hitting himself a lot. He's actually hit himself so hard that he's put himself into seizures. So, uh, you know, I don't want to make the whole video about that. That's not, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's just something that, you know, I guess I guess you guys should know or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be getting a new phone soon sent to me from, an, a, com from a company. Uh, we can't discuss just yet. But um, I'll have the phone tomorrow and i'm going to start testing it tomorrow it's a brand new company well not brand new company but the company that i've done before but not like anything mainstream no like cricket boost mobile whatever metro so you know what i'm saying something 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 a little unusual yeah man so shoot let's see here tj what's up I haven't seen you in a while, John. Bro, how you been? I've been all right, man. I've been all right. I've been chilling. Uh, man, I've had a lot of weirdos, man. I've had a lot of weirdos talking about where I live and all this other stuff, man. It's just been crazy. It's just... So, I don't know. That made me kind of uncomfortable. So, uh, phone stagnation. What do you think? What do you think over there? Phone stagnation. Phone stagnation. What the heck is a phone stagnation? Phone stagnation, as in, like, I guess people just—I don't know, man. Like, I've been—I've been messing with all these Moto G products, and it just—I hate them. I hate all of them now. Just, I really like the Motorola G stylus, man. I was really impressed by it. Uh, I have the Motorola Razor right now, and I have the. Uh, well, I don't know if you've seen my unboxing, the Motorola Think Phone on that. That's basically a flagship phone for like 400 bucks, dude. And if you, you if you have an HDMI to USB Type C cable, you can actually connect it to like a computer monitor and use it like as a as like a Chromebook, man. So, so I've been enjoying using that phone. Mm, okay. And yeah. So, no, bro, I haven't I haven't really been like spending a lot of money on phones, dude. I like I've been like yeah. you know one of the one of the people, man. One of the you know what I'm saying one of the just one of the, the the normals, you know what I'm saying? I go to Crick, I, I yeah. got cricket, I break a phone, I go to Walmart, I spend like eighty bucks yeah. on a phone, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know. Uh, right now I have the Moto G. Yeah. Right now I have the Moto G Power, yeah. and it it sucks. I yeah. can just officially <laughs> say it just. It yeah, I would like, say the the Moto G Power is like at the bottom end of that. Uh, the bottom end of that spectrum, man. That and the regular Moto G from last year. I know the Moto G this year has gotten. Uh, a minor upgrade but like i watched a few uh videos on that i don't have the phone myself on that but you know um the motorola g stylus uh 2023 was a decent phone honestly it has uh it's got a snapdragon gen 6 you know it can technically shoot in 4k if you wanted to take 4k video also a de i mean five 5k battery life like i ain't gonna complain about that you know de decent decent spec phone just no like uh like amoled screen okay okay yeah i got the moto g stylus i've got Right now, I'm recording this on the Moto G Stylus 5G. Okay, it doesn't look bad. 
Yeah, 2023. So, yeah, it's all right. I don't know, man. I'm just ready for, like, a breakthrough, in, you know what I'm saying, in these phones. Like, let's see here. No fun in phones anymore. All bricks or folds. Yep, 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 yep. The power, no, this is the Moto G Power, like, shit, what is this? What's up, Lizzie Edwards? What's going What's on? Yo. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, I see a, I see a $2 dono. What is that <laughs> name, though? <laughs> I can't, it's not, a, I can't even see what that is. It looks like a snake or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $2 donation. What's up, yo? You can actually like What is your chat, name? Right? What is your name? What do we call you? Yeah, it's a, a super chat, right? What do we call you, man? Is that, uh, I don't know, Legendary Tech or somebody? I don't know. It says Hieroglyphs. Oh, oh, that's Jesse Dominguez, ain't it? Yes, that's Jesse Dominguez. There you go. Quentin Thomas says, you have risen from the dead, LOL. Yeah, they're gonna send me a they're gonna send me a nice phone, you know, with some nice specs or whatever. We're, I'm getting it tomorrow, so I figure I just, you know what I'm saying, start off and, you know what I'm saying, see what's up or whatever. So what you been up to there, B-Tech? Uh, you know, man, well, I, I just sent, I sent you a picture of me. I bought a new car yesterday, dude. So I, uh, you know, I've been, uh, I bought a car, you know, I, I posted the uh, overview, overview video on my channel. So whenever you get the chance, you can check that out. I just, put, I just, I did the video earlier today. It's a 2024 Nissan Versa SR. Uh, edition and I, I'm enjoying it so far. I've had it for about 24 hours. It's you know, uh, I uh, you know I was driving around a Toyota 4Runner. You guys know the tr the clunker I was driving around. So it's uh, it was a nice. Uh, it's, I mean, I still got it right. I'm gonna probably pass it on to my dad. Um, but you know, it was just kind of eating away at the gas. It was just guzzling that gas. So I was like, I need something a little more uh, gas efficient. And you know, after my scooter accident a couple years back, we all remember that, right? <laughs> that, you know, I definitely just decided to stay away from the two wheels, the two wheeled vehicles. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I finally, uh, you know, after a couple years, I decided to just upgrade the vehicle finally. <laughs> Still with me, boss? Kind of froze up. Hello. <laughs> uh that jesse guy asked how fast does it go it's uh 122 horsepower and 114 pound feet of torque so I'm, i'd be lucky if that thing went 100 miles an hour honestly <laughs> yeah you know it does have a little yeah. sport mode button on it though but it's not a fast car it's a four it's a four cylinder uh engine probably okay. single yeah i got my my guy i got the 150 cc now uh so yeah i'm still waiting for you to do another video on that I know, I know, I know. I can do, I can do wheelies and all that stuff on it, man. But oh, shit, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, it's got a lot of pickup for sure, and you know, yeah. so I can do like, 50, I can do 55, 60 on the, you know, with it and whatnot. But I don't like to, you know, what I'm saying I like to just chill and just, you know, just run normal. Because once I start going 45, 50, you know, what I'm saying it starts getting a little wobbly. You know, a little, no. And you want to, do you want to, well, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, hopefully they, you know, I mean, I just remember when you, you know, had that mini electric scooter, the one that you and I both had at one point, right? That, that, you know, you were just freaking riding around on it. Like you were making videos on that every day. And I was, I was so entertained with your live streams, uh, doing those videos. And then you upgraded to your moped, you know, after you decided to go with that. And, you know, I was just entertained, you know, doing your thrifting and, just walking around random spots out there in Alaska, you know what I mean? So I was just like, I was like, True. this is it's fun to watch. It was fun to watch. Um, and I was like, damn, like, you I know, know you, what, gotta... though? you know what, though? Because I was, I was in school at the time, I was doing the tech, you know, what I'm saying the tech, the trade school and all that. So yeah. it was a little bit easier for me to do it, you know. I would just yeah. be like, what I would have t school, like, school from 10 to 2, and then yeah, it was a lot easier back then, you know, because I was. I was getting paid to go to school, so I didn't have to do full time, you know? Yeah, no, it's understandable. Yeah, I mean, I get you there. Like, you would probably just turn the video, uh, turn the YouTube app on after you got out of class. So, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, those were entertaining times. I think, you know, I remember I had my accident and you were working on all those videos, and I was just like, man, like, this is, 
like i was just like i would wake up and i would see that you were live already and i was like shit like let me let me get on before you know before i miss his live stream because i want to fucking be chat chit chatting and shit right 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 yeah no nah, what's up bro i know man i know i gotta get back to doing something i don't know <sighs> I just, well you know hopefully I that work. you know that now that you won't be doing gig work anymore, um, you know, and now that, you know, you got a, uh, I would say you, you got a promotion at your job, right? So, so, you know, right. hope, you know, the, you know, the hours aren't as long, the, the pay's obviously a little bit better and, um, you know, you can uh, find a little more time. I know, of course, you know, I know with little John, you know, things could be hard for you, right. You know, especially with what's been going on recently. So, but, you know, hopefully uh, you can get back on making uh, maybe a one or two videos a week, man, just getting on and live streaming uh, with your community here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. And it doesn't even have to be about tech, man. You can just talk about whatever, man. Like I feel like you know you have you. I mean, right now, yeah. I mean, the 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 viewership right now isn't isn't a lot, right? But you know, once you get back into it and people start seeing, hey, he's starting to go live again. They're gonna they're gonna start commenting on your uh, the missed videos that they missed. They're gonna be like, hey, like you know, we have got to get back on it. Oh, the kitty, the kitty. Hey. Yeah, I got my I got my dogs jumping on me down here. They're they're all over me right now. <laughs> you know you got Buddha. Oh, dogs. Yeah, I got my dogs just chilling around right now. I'm getting bit by a bunch of mosquitoes currently, so I'm probably gonna go back inside. Got all the doggos. But yeah, man, I would like to see more like moped videos or something like. And you uh, are you still doing uh, work at the at the moped shop? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, so I mean, maybe I do start doing like tutorial videos on how to like you know ma maintenance those mopeds and whatnot. That'd be that'd be interesting to see. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would want to to learn how to you know you know get into stuff like that and maintain their own mopeds. Yeah, I can break I can break a moped down all the way down to the bare frame and then put it back together pretty much. Oh, there you, know? you go. There you go. How to videos. Yeah, I was going to say, how to videos get a lot of hits on you on YouTube, man. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to throw out ideas for you, man, because, you know, I know that, you know, that sometimes the, the topics of stuff, but, you know, you can kind of integrate, like, the tech that goes into, into those scooters, man. I mean, shit. I mean, there's still stuff that goes into that. Mm. Or how different coffees are. Yeah, I was gonna say what? What is he talking about? Coffee. Sorry, let's go back inside. Let's go back inside. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've got to, you know, I've got to think of different things or whatever. But I just lost a lot of a uh, shark in Texas. Yo, John and yes, what's going on? Yeah, Jonathan says yo, hey. So good to see you again, dude. I had my uh, what is it, YouTube Premium subscription canceled for a little bit. Oh my god, bro! I couldn't take it. I could not take it. It was like two, three ads in one go or whatever. It was just bro, ad after ad after ad. I don't know how y'all do it. But, uh, let's see here. Hey, one second, guys. I'm sorry about that. One second. All right. So nowadays, bro, I'm not even watching too much tech channels. Current day, too much anymore. Yeah, I feel you, man. I, bro, I don't watch any tech channels. To be perfectly, a hundred percent honest with y'all, I don't watch not one tech channel. All I watch is like old Nintendo videos, old video game videos. Uh, I watch some politics stuff. To Daniel, what's up? I watch some HVAC stuff. I watch some moped stuff. Like, I, I have I haven't watched a tech video in I don't even know months, probably. So, fix it, Daniel. Yo, I got a 150 cc moped right now. Uh, it's the same. It's the same kind of bike. It's a Viper, but it's a 150 cc. So yeah, man, I've been showing. I've been doing that. Doing Uber Eats, but I'm kind of I'm kind of over the Uber Eats, man. I got a I got a nice nice pay raise at work, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost making like twenty two an hour now, so you know, chilling. Yeah, 
Six of January says got a two fifty CC I'm working on. Okay, okay. Uh Jesse Dominguez says, I got more into history channels, politics. Lost interest in tech unless it's before 2010. Yes. Yes. I know, man. It's like it's all the same shit. It's just a different it's just a different board, different memory, different whatever. So there's nothing to really like. There's no really tips and tricks to give out anymore. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows how to use their phone. It's Android. There's nothing new about Android anymore. Nothing new about, you know, touch screens or you know, developer options or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? The phone's pretty much work how they work. So, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to, you know. And let's see. It's a SYM RB250. It's cool. I'm rebuilding the motor. Oh, okay. That's what's up. But yeah, fix it, Daniel. I know how to bust out a bike now, all the way down to the frame. Um, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I've been doing a lot on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? But one day, one day a week, I work over there. So I don't know. I've been doing, been doing all right. So I know how to work on the 150, the 50s, and the 150s uh, mopeds. Not really the dirt bikes just yet, you know, but. I know how to do pretty much the repairs to it. I don't know how to like really fix on the motor. You know what I'm saying? I know how to fix the carb. I know how to fix the brakes. I know how to fix the throttle cable. I know how to, you know, do that kind of stuff. Change the oil, of course, belt, uh, variator, clutch, battery, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know. Let's see here. Who else is up here? Who's up here? TJ, Everything Tech, Jonathan Montana, Shark Fin Tech, Mario, Quentin Thomas, Walter Scott Jr., Mana, Lindsey Edwards. Yeah, so tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be getting the phone or whatever. I won't be able to make the video of the phone tomorrow, but I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the phone to make a video to show you the difference in quality. So, All right. Sorry, fellas. I was helping my uh, dad with uh, something on his phone. So, Okay. He, he's, he's learning about social media at the age of 71. He made his first Facebook post. Crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, not his first Facebook post, but like he doesn't really post stuff, but he went fishing uh, a couple of days ago and he caught like a lot of fish, so he wanted to post a picture of those fish. <laughs> oh. I mean, that is a thing. Like, my dad's like 77 and he used to hate any type of social media, any type of Facebook, anything, and then all of a sudden, like he's into it now, you yeah. know, because he he realizes that he can get to, you know, get his little message out to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? He's a he plays piano and accordion and all that stuff. They can, and he can talk to people around the world. You know? Just, oh yeah, you know, even if it's just a few couple people that see it, you know what I mean? At least you know, he's sharing. He's putting himself out there. Right. All right, got my I got myself set up with the ring light and everything. Let's go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. I see you, man. I see you with that soundboard. What did I miss? Man. What did I miss? <laughs> so what phones you got now, man? What's up? Me? Yeah, you. Well, my daily is still my iPhone 13 Pro. Like, I can't get away from the iOS as far as, like, my daily usable. But I have the Motorola ThinkPhone, which is my second fat flagship, I guess, next to the one I'm streaming on right now is the Pixel 7 Pro. Um, I have the Samsung Galaxy A15, uh, the Motorola G Stylus 2023 last year, and I have the Motorola Razr from last year also. And that's about it. And then I'll be, re I, I will also be receiving that, you know, that new phone. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting it tomorrow or maybe this weekend, 
um, or maybe Monday next week. I'm not sure uh, on that. So we'll have to see what happens there. But that'll be another one. I'll probably test. Uh, I'll probably throw in one of my SIM cards because uh, I'm I'm currently testing out a new uh, network, also called Helium Mobile. I don't know if you've heard about it. No. Yeah, it's a new. Oh. It's a new. It's twenty dollars a month, unlimited data but i think they uh they they throttle you at like 30 gigs just like what boost mobile was doing with like their 25 dollar plan but apparently they really do throttle you at the 30 uh at, at the 30 dollars so oh shit it looks like cv tech is streaming wow cv tech streaming wow that's a miracle <laughs> what <laughs> right i don't know if he is or not someone said cv tech is streaming oh shit he is i just got the notification that he's streaming right now <laughs> that's funny interesting he never goes live. Wow. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna check on him right now. Hold on. You're gonna go. I'm gonna go, gonna go troll on him. <laughs> I'm gonna go troll on him. Yeah, we're Shit, gonna go troll yeah. on him. Nah. So while uh, no, he's doing that, let me go over some of these comments that uh, I think that Jesse guys said social media leads to depression if not regulated. Um, well, that's the thing. It's not regulated, at least not here in the U.S. I know maybe in other countries like China, they do regulate like the use of social media and how it can be used. Um, here, obviously, you know, the U.S., it's definitely a lot more now. I mean, I don't know if uh, you your what your stance is on the ban of TikTok. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people are for it. Some people are against it. Like me, like I'm for, I'm, I'm for, I'm, I'm, I'm against, I'm sorry. I'm against them trying to get rid of TikTok. Hey, just of oh shit. There you go. Oh, <laughs> no, he's not, no, he's not, he's not live. Is it a premiere or what? No, he just dropped a video. That's all. Address oh, okay. It's a premiere. Between Samsung. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just an update. Yeah. And it's oh yeah. Here, yeah. It's just a... Lay it all out. Uh, all out. He ain't lying. Clickbait. Yeah, he ain't lying. I thought he was. Yeah. Wait, okay. So, all right. right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think that social media. I mean, to some degree, yes, it should be regulated when it comes to minors and children under the age of eighteen. Right. Obviously, you know, there needs to be some sort of regulation when it comes to that. Um, but other than that, once you're over 18, obviously it's, you know, fair game. You can do whatever the hell you want. You're a legal adult. Um, you know, it's like going into a, a bookstore, not being able to buy a book. Right. You know, it's the same thing, right? You're, you're, people are, are trying to withhold information or whatever, you know, it's the same crap. Um, mm -hmm. anyways, yeah, no, we were just talking about social media. Okay. So, so were we talking about the TikTok ban? Is that what we're yeah, I mean, up. someone mentioned uh, regulation on social media because it could lead to depression. And I was like, well, yeah, you know, I mean, if you if you're just on social media all the time, I can see why, you know, it can lead to depression because, you know, you're looking, you're, you know, you're looking from the outside in and and. You know, it could piss a lot of people off, whether it be propaganda, politics, uh, you know, just bad shit going on all over the world. Right. You know, um, so, I mean, I, I can understand that, right. Why it would lead to depression, but you know, I mean, that's why it's healthy to have, you know, uh, an outside life outside of, you know, sitting on your phone all day, you know, get out of the house and, and do shit. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Okay. We got CV tech in the house. What's going on with CV tech? <laughs> right. Right. I'm seeing over here. Yeah, y'all should. Have, of course, everybody probably here knows CB Tech anyway, so I don't even know. If I, but okay, okay, I, I see you, CB Tech. You've been, he's been, he's been uploading quite. Okay, okay. Two minutes. I'll check that video out a little bit later, Stevie. Dude, I wish we could do more than two people. Like, I wish it could be like, remember, remember the Google Hangouts thing? Yeah, Hangouts. You could add like five or six people at the same time. Yeah, and then and then just whoever would talk would just pop up. Well, didn't you say you had a? Uh, didn't you say you got your hands on a laptop not too long ago? Maybe you can get back to Restream or Streamyard or something like that. One of yeah, these days. Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, man. Ugh. Come on, come on, Magic Tech. Let's freaking go, man. Let's get back on it, man. Let's let's shoot for 50k subs over here. How about that? <laughs> you think? Why? Why should I, sir? Why not? 
I don't know, man. I need motivation. Yeah, it's understandable. You got a couple jobs, and you know, I I understand. You know, it's tough, man, staying on social media, and it it, it could burn you out, and it's just a lot, bro. Like, like I get that. Hey, what's up, Kr? So yeah, like, I mean, I work from eight to five, man. I'm, bro, being a, being a maintenance technician, you're on call all the time. Technician. I'm on call all the time. Somebody, I have, I literally have the iPhone right here. And yep. if somebody calls the damn, if somebody calls after hours, there I go. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is the iPhone right here, the iPhone SE, whatever the heck it is. I don't know what it is, but it's the work phone. If this shit, if they call me, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Leak or whatever. So, just saying, man. If y'all live in an apartment complex and you got a maintenance technicians. Just uh, you know, what I'm saying, hook them up, man. Hook them up. Let them know. Let them know that you appreciate them. You know, like I don't get it, man. Like you go to a bar, you know, what I'm saying you go to a bar, you get a beer, right? Mm-hmm. And you tip the wait, you tip the waitress like a dollar or two for bringing you a damn beer. Like literally, all they did was bring you a beer, and open up the top, and you pay her like two bucks. But like somebody like me will spend like an hour or two fixing your toilet. And yeah, I won't even like say thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that we deserve tips. I'm just saying like, it's kind of weird how that happens. You know what I'm saying? We're over here, got our hands in your shit. You know what I'm saying? All in your poop. Mm-hmm. Literally. You know? <laughs> literally, yeah. Literally. Yeah. Got my hands down your toilet. Oh my god. I'm on my hands and knees and getting wet, or I'm underneath your sink. You know what I'm saying? And got like rust and shit, like going all over my eyes and all that. But I don't know. You ever see any weird shit working maintenance? Of course I do. Of course I do. Now we you know who we need to call? Uh freaking Mill Hustle. That's who that's who we need. Oh I got his I got his number man. Sheesh. Got his number call call him. I got his direct line but he he's let me just update you on him. You know, I don't want to give away too much. Obviously, he's working two jobs right now. So he works like, you know, nine to five or whatever. And then he works an overnight job. So he's probably unavailable right now, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't heard much from him the last couple of days. Every now and then he'll be he'll be messaging me or texting me stuff. So he, I'm sure he, he'll either watch the replay or whatever. So shout out to Mill Hustles over here. Bro, I wish he lived close to me, bro. I could put him on. I could put him on right now. And he would be making a lot more money than he's making, bro. And he, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be yeah. as hard. I mean, it's, I'm not going to say it's not as hard, but it's, um, you know, not as stressful, I guess. I don't mm-hmm. know. You guys are a tag team. I get it. I get you. <laughs> that retail shit is fast food. Oh, man. It's, it sucks. Mm-hmm. I know you know. You know, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm in a non, uh, managerial role now so it's just like chill for me honestly like i my boss is giving me decent hours and you know they like my new boss who who came in like what last october she likes me a lot so like you know i kind of i wouldn't say they spoil me but like i get away with a lot of shit you know what i mean <laughs> so so you know I, but i do a good job I, I i make sure i'm doing what i need to do and i take care of the department so so i mean yeah. they know i know what i'm doing like they so because I've been doing it for years already, so they they trust me and and you know it's easy for me, so they let they they let me they let me do what I need to do basically. Okay, okay. So yeah, I I mean I replaced somebody's dishwasher today. I replaced somebody's kitchen faucet today. It was rusted, so I had to freaking you know cut off the water. Uh, I had to cut off the whole building. So it's it's a couple things, oh, wow. man. Like there was like a little kid, and he put. So I guess they they took the they took the shower head off of the shower and they you know as a tenant I guess you could do that and you could put your own shower head up there mm-hmm. but the old but the shower head that they took off the little kid put the shower head in the toilet and flushed the toilet oh damn so now the shower head is like inside the toilet so it's not <laughs> flushing so I'm like how the fuck can you get a metal shower head inside the toilet and now yeah. we got to go fish it out yeah so, and toilets so are like ceramic they're super yeah. like 
they them shits break. Like yep. Like I know it, you know you know you don't see them break, but yeah, it, it, they're not they're not they're not very hard to break. Let's just put yeah. It like that. If you don't do something the right way with. Them. I wonder why they make them out of that specific material. Like, you think out of all the material that they could make, like, a toilet out of, right? Like, I mean, it is, like, a hard ceramic, like, I wouldn't say, it's not a glass, right? But um, the way the way they are made, I just, uh, it's whatever, I don't know. I guess I just, I've never questioned it, honestly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You would think. Yeah, you would think that they would make like toilets out of something better by now, right? Maybe stuff that you know you're you, you don't see shit stains all over the place and shit, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> you're I like, don't yeah. know, bro. You gotta wake up, yeah. dog. You gotta drink that soda or drink that Coke Zero over here. Oh yeah, no, I w- I was at Walmart earlier. I guess I should have streamed. You know what I'm saying? The Walmart or whatever. I got the little. Uh, I walked in there, you know, as soon as you go in there, they got the little deli section or the little thing. I got little pinwheels, the little. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like them. Yep. And then I got a, a monster. Okay. A monster Zero or whatever. Zero of energy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I got a bunch of uh, cleaning stuff for the wife or whatever. So. Oh, yeah. So you, you know, think, it's never the right that- thing whenever you get something for the damn wife. But. Oh, yeah. Very true. Bro, sounds like something Little John would do. Yep. Sounds like something Little John would do. Shit. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. What's the next big thing in tech, sir? What are we What are we looking at? Did somebody ask that, or are you asking? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm asking you. What's the next big big thing in? Oh well, well, I mean, like, I mean, you've probably like, I mean, I honestly, I'm I'm sure you're not watching YouTube videos like every day, like some of us are. But like the Apple Vision Pro recently came out, and that's been kind of like the the talk of tech, right? On uh, like, I guess the the next generation of VR. You know, it's you know, it's a what thirty five hundred dollars just for that little headset. Um, you know, I don't know if I would ever get one, but like I could, I I've seen videos of people using it and just like how it looks like on the inside, like it's freaking crazy, like, uh, like the interaction that you can do with stuff like that. So I'm like, man, that's pretty freaking cool. Like, you know, I could see them like, you know, selling those and then like, you know, having like an app that you can like, you know, like let's let's say somebody has a live concert for instance, and you you're not able to travel to the concert, you know, for whatever reason, right. like. Like for them to like, you know, charge you a specific amount of money or whatever, you know, just to get you in so that you can see like first person view of like what what you would see in the concert. Right. Like, you know, of course, obviously camera view, not not so much like, you know, you in the crowd or anything like that. But, you know, that would that would be pretty, pretty interesting, you know, to to kind of do that and just be able to feel it and be there. Let's see here. Terrible guitar player says, because how about this? I- how about this? Are smartwatches just stupid? Okay, so I have a smartwatch. I actually have a smartwatch, and I I actually bought this smartwatch for twenty dollars mm-hmm. at the flea market. And you know I'm like the king of getting cheap shit for like, and that's actually pretty good. This thing is huge too. It's a huge, like the face is really big. Twenty bucks, and. Pairs up to an app or whatever, and it's, it doesn't do like, like it does heart rate, it does alarm, it does all that, you know what I'm saying? All that goofy shit. That's all you really need, huh? I said that's all you really need. Honestly, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I really, I really don't use my Apple, you know, my Apple Watch for like the the like the activity shit. Honestly, like, really don't. Yeah, I mean, it tells me, right. Yeah, see, I like smartwatches for monitoring, but that's about it. So this yep. smartwatch that I have, this smartwatch that I have lasts literally a whole week without having to charge it. That's my, like, I can't, I can't do that daily having to charge my watch. It, that, that just, it, I can't. Like, if I have to do that, I'm just going to throw it away because I'm going to end up not charging it. And it's just going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a waste to me. So yeah, well nowadays. Like, the, even, go ahead, I'm uh, sorry. Okay, I I want to make like I want to make a video about you know I guess poor I, 
I don't know how to say it. I guess what poor people's experience in wireless is versus, you know, rich people or not even rich people, but people that are well off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the average consumer, you know what I'm saying? The average struggling single mom, you know what I'm saying? What You know what I'm saying? Having to go to Metro or Boost or Cricket and having to, like, get a free phone versus, like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that has a pretty good job. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what the... You know what the major differences are, or whatever. Is it fair? I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. Because you're just you were just talking about the Apple, whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people can't afford that shit. Nobody and, can. Not even not, not even a lot of people can afford that Facebook uh, VR headset, which was like what the Meta Quest, whatever the hell it's called. I think those are like maybe like a third of the cost of what you would get with the Apple. I think they're like six seven hundred bucks, maybe. You know um but yeah i mean i mean a lot of people can't afford stuff like that right it's more it's more of a rich people's game at this point when it comes to a a lot of the higher tech items right right so like i don't know man like stuff like that like if it's out of my reach i don't even like to you know what i'm saying fuck that i don't even like to hype it up you know what i'm saying it's just like yeah i'll wait till that stuff comes down in price and it's available to you know the mass market or whatever, because I feel like, you know, I mean, you know, I've always been like that, you know what I'm saying? So, just is it. It's all good, it's all good. Let's see here. TJ, the average person is not worrying about phones or dates that they like. Yeah. Hell, I think a lot of people, they li- they watch these tech videos and they just fantasize about phones. They don't even fucking buy the phone. Like, mm-hmm. I know I don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I just fantasize about the folding phones and all the shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to use it. So, I think people I think people just like fantasize. You know what I'm saying? They overhype it. And then, I guess when you can't afford it, you, you buy one thing. Because like, if you go to T-Mobile or, or AT&T or Verizon, you only get one flagship phone per, you know, right? Per mm-hmm. year, per two years. So you can only get that one, you know what I'm saying? You can only get that one thing. So yeah, you can only get that one, you know what I'm saying? You can only get that one thing for every two years. So you get that one thing and now you're stuck watching how many videos about all these other phones you could have got. You know? I'm going to have a beer with y'all. I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go grab it. It's time to get up. Yeah. Yeah. Time to get up. Time to get a beer. Phone's got the little stand on it. Let me get a beer. Hold on. I'll I'll be right back. Sounds good. See what we got going on in the chat really quick while John is getting the beer here. Uh Let's see. TJ says, and elderly people are caring about what's the new phone out there or anything uh, like that. They only care if the phone works and they call the people that they need to call. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, because that's how it was. I mean, back then, I mean, if something worked, that's all they needed. You know, they weren't they weren't out buying the the latest or greatest tech back in the day. So um, like that, I can understand. One second, guys. I'm trying to screenshot some stuff over here on my phone because they're making some special announcements. Miller High Life, you know what I'm saying? Got a champagne of beer, sir. I got you. No worries. I don't drink, so I mean, I can't relate, but yeah. Says, girl, I remember buying the original Moto G for like one hundred twenty nine dollars a lot. Oh my yeah. god, the original Moto G back then was like so fucking hype. I loved that phone. <laughs> like I, I could, I remember having that phone, and I remember having it, like having the Nexus Five, I think, and like it was like pretty much almost on par with the Nexus Five, and the Nexus Five was like a flagship device, so it was pretty crazy that what the quality that they gave you back then for $129 compared to now, like, I'm just like, Oh my God. <laughs> right. Inflation is just so, so bad, bro. Yeah. Like, 
I can't go to McDonald's or Wendy's without using an app. Like, oh yeah, I'm not, bro. I'm not paying. What? Fucking yeah. Dave I Shane mean, that's like, the, that's a good thing about the app. So you get the discount. I think they got rid of that four for four already. Now that's that's nope. gone. <laughs> nope, it's not gone. It's not, not gone. gone. What do nope. they give it to you with now? It's not gone. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look it up right here, right now, and show y'all. This man is lying to me. Now they did do five for five biggie bag, and then they did six for whatever the hell. But no, if you go inside the app. You have to go inside the app. You can't just you can't just go to the store and be like, I want the four for four anymore. All right. And actually Wendy's is be doing it big right now. They're doing the March Madness. You get a Dave's double for two dollars, or you get a single. Oh damn, that's good. Yeah. Do they limit you on it though, or no? And I got the keychain. I got the key, you know, you know I gotta get the keychain, the frosty keychain. I paid three dollars for the frosty keychain, and I get, I get frosties for a whole year, sir. Oh shit! Really? Yep. Every you time just, I go inside, every time I go into Wendy's, I just say yeah. I got the frosty keychain, and that, yep. And you paid how much for that? Three bucks. Three bucks, and, and you frosty. have unlimited frosties for a year, gee, or like one per day at least, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. You can as many times as you want. It doesn't. They don't have to scan it, nothing. All you every time you order something, you just say, Yes, yeah. hey, I got the free frosty, and they'll be like, Oh, okay, what flavor? They go, Damn, they don't I didn't even know about that. You yeah. got Kimberly in the house, Kimberly Perez. Oh, Kimberly Perez, what's up? So, yeah, um, matter of fact, let me see. Let me, let me see. Let me oh, yeah, see. I remember I the Moto Z also. I gotta school. I gotta school y'all, man. On these, on these. Uh... Man, oh, you matter should make fact, videos. they got look, look. They got it right now. They got it right now. <laughs> Hold on. Look at it. You see it? Yeah. You see it? I look, think I had the Wendy's app. I need to get back on. Look, bro. Right now, you can literally get a quarter pound of of beef single Dave single for a dollar, bro, or a double. You know how big a double quarter pounder, bro? Half a yeah, pound dude. of meat right now for two bucks. Yeah, I need, That's, I need you to, don't have to you, don't have, you don't have to purchase anything, guys. And it's all March. It's March Madness. They're li literally every week it updates. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you got to do it, man. You got to do it. Yeah, I might check that out. I think I I think I remember ordering Wendy's when I had COVID. It says delivery madness, six dollar Dave double combo. Delivery only, so you get the you get the. Where is my Wendy's app? Why can't I find it? There it is. What the hell? Uh oh, Kimberly's birthday is tomorrow. Everybody say happy birthday to Miss Kimberly. Happy birthday, Kim! How old are you going to be? Hopefully, not as old as me. Let's not. My birthday is. I was like, my birthday's in less than a month. I'm going to be 38. Mm. 38, guys. Ah. <laughs> I'm 42, man. Shit. All right, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. You we know, got a, 40 or 41 recently. Let me see if I still have access to Wendy's. Meal deals. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I got to show you. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so what does that say? Junior cheeseburger, four dollars. So, but you have to do it through the app. Uh -huh. You can't, you can't just go in person. Hey, hey, still, I can still, I do it through the app, and I can still. Sit I down. mean, now I think it, now I think it's like five for five or six for six or some shit like that. Like it's like five dollars. Yeah, but, yep, yeah, they have the the bacon double stack for seven dollars. No sir, crispy chicken BLT for six dollars. <laughs> Crispy chicken biggie bag for five dollars. Junior bacon cheeseburger for five. Double stack for six. Or you just get the junior cheeseburger for four. But see, yeah. the thing is, is that when you order it, right, you have to do it with extra. You can you can put extra for no for no dip, for no uh extra price. So you put mm -hmm. you put extra pickles, extra lettuce, extra tomato, and then you put a premium bun, and then you you know what I'm saying. 
You get it's almost like a big ass burger. Yeah. And it's all free upgrades. Wow. Well, you need to start making then, videos on these on these deals, dog. <laughs> right? And then so then look, so so you're getting like this <laughs> really nice burger, right? You get your fries, you get your drink, and you get the chicken nuggets, right? And then you show them your little frosty key tag, and boom, you have five items for four dollars. For four bucks and change. Right? Yeah. And that's not even that's not even and that's not even using a deal. That's not even using a deal. So the four to mm -hmm. for four is just a regular, like a regular thing, right? So yep. if you go to your offers, dude, I'm telling, I'm, I'm, I'm showing people how to be fat. This is ridiculous. This is bad. So like right now, offers, right? Look, bonus nuggets, three six piece oh, yeah. nuggets with premium combo purchase, right? So literally, all you have to do is order that four for four, and you're getting a six piece. Right there, the offer, the offer. So you're you're literally getting a ten piece nugget, a burger, fries, drink, and your little frosty for for four dollars. Four dollars. It comes off to four dollars and thirty cents with the pack. So trying to sign up for the Wendy's app over here. I could have swear I had a MTR figured out how to scam Wendy's. Lol. Yep, sure did, buddy. I've been using the uh, mobile app for Walmart, or not Walmart, uh, McDonald's. So I've been racking up some points there. Oh yeah, you do it in the morning. I got some. Uh -huh. I got some for McDonald's. No, Ice I do it at the time. Okay, iced coffee at McDonald's, no matter what size, is dollar fifty. And no, and you can put, and then you can put like caramel, you can put chocolate, you can put all different types of stuff in your coffee, iced coffee. And that's what I do every morning. I get the ice. I get the. I go to McDonald's. They give you a two dollar. It's two dollar. Any any sandwich for two dollars. Any breakfast sandwich. Mm -hmm. So, I get the uh, McGriddle in the oh, morning. Yeah. Yep. You know that's because I like Wendy's burgers a lot more than McDonald's burgers, but you know McDonald's Wendy's just got more expensive, man. I don't know why they 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 suddenly got more expensive. At least in my area, I don't know if that that's the same for everybody else, but, but dude, home. Have, dude, they're they're the cheapest. Oh damn! I got there's a zero dollar delivery fee on the six dollar Dave's double combo. Let's freaking go! What? Yeah, I'll, I'm time to order Uber Eat. Uh, you know that it's gonna be an Uber Eat driver picking it up. What the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Paper towels. Nothing, bro. Look at this is the sixty nine cent paper towels at Walmart. This God, is look the at economy. how thin that is, bro. Look <laughs> look at how like you know how they be using like bulky as shit. This is like, yeah, this, look. This is it's eight, like what can you eight. clean with that, man? <laughs> Nothing, bro. You, you hit you hit it you hit a, a window, maybe one window, and yeah. then you're done. Like Hey, well I understand, man. You gotta save in this economy, man. Like the way things are, like you gotta Yep. You know, the wife said get some get the wife said get some paper towels. I was like, all right, bet. I went over yeah. there. I got the cheapest. She probably left her ass. You know that shit. <laughs> you know that shit is cheap. Look, it don't even have no name brand. That shit just says yeah. It just towels. has paper towels, eighty eight counts. You fly. It's like the from China. That's, over here. The, that's the brand. That's the brand name right there. It's like eighty eight sheets. You're gonna finish that like in a day. <laughs> Can't even wipe your ass with that. Well, now you're making me want to get Wendy's for sure. Caution. Any paper product can burn if used improperly in microwave or conventional oven. Do not leave microwave unattended while cooking. Mm. Why is it? Why is that on a paper towel thing? Do not leave. I always put my uh, paper, paper towels in the microwave. Towels in any oven. You said what now? I said I always put uh, paper towels in like the microwave, like when I ha when I need to cover like a bowl or something like that. Like nothing happens in the microwave. Do, oh, they can ignite or do not leave crumpled paper towels in any oven. They can ignite. Oh, that's obvious. Who's who's fucking throwing paper towels in the oven, bro? Do not dry food. Do not dry food. Uh, 
herbs or flowers or on paper towels in microwave or conventional oven. What? Keep all metal out of microwave oven. Okay. Why Jeez. is that on a paper towel? Like, what? Why is that on a paper towel? Why is that warning on a paper towel? Yeah. Keep all metal out of microwave oven. In case of fire, turn microwave off and leave door closed. Wow. I'm glad I read that. Jeez. Now I know what to do. We will be we we will be pleased to respond to your questions and comments. Okay. And it's got a number right there. It's literally got a number right there. I dare you to call him up one of these days. <laughs> I'm gonna call him I'm gonna call him up right now. Say what's up. <laughs> So I left. I'm like I left. I left my I left my paper towel in my oven, and now it's ignited. So I don't know what to do. Be like, if it burns my house down, what do we do? If there's a fire that started, All right? Let's see. One eight hundred. Twenty hundred. Five six seven. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy over here. Also. I am one zero two two. Let's see. What do they say? They're probably not open. I have a question about your paper towel. Some random ass thing, huh? Oh my god. Where's the customer yeah. service? For English, to pull the half for English press two, I thought it was English was just. All right, we're gonna press two for English. Thanks. Please hold. Uh, all right. Hi, you have reached my field of county also. Customer support representative at Gatsby Fisher Group. Please leave your name and phone number, and I will call you back as soon as possible. Have a nice day. What? I would have left a message. Weird. <laughs> Press three. I would have been like, hey. I would have been like, hey. I put the paper towel in the oven like it said. <laughs> and now my house yes. is on fire. <laughs> Just to fuck around. You can tell they, that was an, an American person, obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, that's paper towel right there, man. That's pretty hilarious. That's that's the that's the kind of customer service you get from uh the paper towel company. Eighty eight ten. Eighty eight. Eighty eight count. Instructions not clear. Yep. Dick Dick caught in uh what is it? Paper towel holder. Oh God! Child with, oh yeah. child with autism on board. Oh, so, uh, yeah, they let. So there was a uh, there was an eviction, and they left some uh, they left some foreign currency. Dude, it was so hard. I know Kimberly Perez knows about this foreign currency, like for people in the Navy or the Army mm -hmm. or the military. When you go overseas and then you have to use like different forms of currency and shit. Yep. Bro, it shit was so hard to find somebody to exchange the money. But so they they exchange it was a uh, Bahrain money and it was a uh, UAE United Arab Emirates. But they won't change coins over here, so I'm literally stuck. Oh yeah, stuck. you can only do like paper money, I think. Yeah, you can only do paper money. So I'm literally yeah, yeah. stuck with all this fucking money. All this, like, like I'm stuck, bro. Like, and this is, like, this is, like, euros, dude. Like, this is, like, two. Yeah. So I'm just literally stuck now. With... Ooh, excuse me. And the, and the fucking equator party. Oh, okay. All right, Kimberly knows. See, she knows. Yeah. 
<sighs> so what are we talking about? I'm just going through the comments here. Yes, please. We just chilling. I'm I'm getting hungry, man. You got me hungry wanting some Wendy's now, man. Shit. <laughs> Bro, just order it and then yep. go go get it. Free delivery fee. It's like, but I would feel bad for not tipping the driver, so I would want to tip the driver. Nah, don't even bro. Just go. Like literally order. You can like right now, right? Oh yeah, like pick up, yeah. The double, the, the day's double. Do that. Two, mm -hmm. two dollars. And that's it. You literally that's all you have to buy. Two dollars. And you're you just go there and that's it. For two dollars, you get a whole double. Well, I kind of want the freaking fries and drink also. Let's see all that. Let me get back in the Oh shit, I accidentally opened the McDonald's app by accident. Oops. Let's see. Offers. Let's see. Yeah, there. Sweet deals. Okay. 50% off Play Doh. What the hell? Yeah, so it's like one one dollar Dave single. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. No, this is a double double madness thing. You should be able to get a two a two dollar one. Going to yeah, offer. no, there's a there's a dollar there's a dollar Dave's single and then there's a two dollar Dave double Dave's double. Yep, and then add, you can add Asiago cheese to that for thirty cents, bro. Oh man, oh man. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Hold on, I'm scratching my mind off. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. No homo. <laughs> that's too much meat. He said, there's too much meat on my grill. Where did you come from, Mama? Freaking And there you go. We started off with four, and now you got 15. 15 right. of the MTR fanatics over here. All you got to do is make dick jokes, and everybody starts coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but... Uh, Someone says 16. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, not Latrell Jennings, not that guy, man. <laughs> What's up, Latrell? How's it going? I I, I quit YouTube because of Latrell. Oh yeah. she. Yeah, guys, that's that's why I quit. I quit YouTube because Latrell. He was uh, he was bullying me. And uh, yep, yeah, he yeah. This is the true and this is true NCR stories right here he was bullying me and uh you see uh yeah that, yep yeah he was bullying me and i was sad and then he was like well stop making youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> he was like your scooters suck <laughs> right yeah he's like your scooter sucks yeah we have a shark fin tech over here. Oh, shit, we got shark fin tech. Damn. Yep. He's like, Alaska sucks. Can I make this my favorite restaurant? There you go. Oh, yeah, make sure you order at the right. Yeah, make sure you order at the right spot. Probably the drive through. Here we go. Privacy policy. Oh, man. Oh, Kim, Kimberly just... Perez is who bullied. See, I'm about to get Kimberly Perez on you. Latrell Jennings. Yo. Biggie Meals. Sheesh. Oh, shit. Walmart's sending me an order over here. Let's see. Yo, mm. ev eviction. Yo, ev it's weird. It's crazy. It's weird and it's sad, but eviction. Like when we evict people, we get to go through and pick goodies out. So yeah, it sucks. But Art, what the hell? Shit! How is that three? Okay, four miles. Screw that. No thanks. I am being picky right now. What what you been thinking about? Oh, they're sending me an offer, but I'm like seven bucks for four miles. Me, mm. mm. you know, uh, 
you got to get up. You got to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I got to get that six dollar out. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm thinking about ordering that six dollar Dave deal and getting that shit delivered, but that's what's up. I'd rather just pick up in my new ride, up. the Sentra, or not the Sentra, the Versa, the Versa SR. I, I got about 60 miles on the Versa right now, man. I, I uploaded the overview video. I don't know if you saw that on my channel, man, but check out the video. It's like it's like a 30-minute video, dude. I kind of fucking, I made it long. Like, I, I get a little too detailed in that video. Yeah, it's a Versa. Yeah. No, it's not a Sentra. It's a Versa. My bad. I, I, I because my mom has a Sentra. I have a, Ver, a Versa. Why do you keep saying like that, bro? It's a Versa. Versa. It's a Versa. Latrizzle drives a Maxima over here, or I forgot what he drives. Oh, yeah, Nissan Maxima? Okay. Or Honda. Or, I don't know. He's got like three cars. I, don't know. I, I, don't know. He's, I always get confused on what he drives. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, it's a Maxima 2017. I I actually heard they're okay. going to discontinue the Maxima. One of my buddies who uh, works close with car dealerships, he says they're going to dis disco the Maxima. They're going to discontinue the Versa also. They're really going to get rid of like the whole subcompact uh, segment for the, the smaller vehicles. So now we're just going to have to get used to paying 30000 and up for, for cars now, Dave. Bro, then we're we're gonna have we're gonna have the same thing with the uh the phones. We're gonna have the same things with the cars, bro. They're gonna be like flat right. and shit. They're gonna have, regulate like, that update. Yo, oh, you bet. And they're gonna have they're gonna have like Android version one point oh, one point two, and they're gonna be like cupcake and donut, jelly bean. Yo, the electric cars, bro. Fuck that. I'm not ready. Oh uh, well. You had that e-bike, right? And you got rid of that real quick. So, <laughs> yep. I would say ten years people. from now. Ten years from now, mostly like half of the vehicles on the road are going to be electric, and then you know maybe another twenty. You'll probably see like mo pretty much all of them electric at that point. Bro, bro, if you're if you're if you if you die if your battery dies on the road, what do you do, bro? What do you do? Well, what hopefully they get that shit solved by by then because. <laughs> There's no way, bro. Like you forget to charge your shit at night. It's not like gas where you just pour the gas in there and you go, bro. No way. Latrizzle saying that he's not gonna get any other Nissan except the Maxima, and he said I'm gonna get an Audi. Then I would I would drive the Nissan Z, man. I mean, I like the new Z. I saw it in the showroom, and I would I wouldn't mind driving a Frontier also. I mean, I, I like trucks, but obviously, you know, the fifty thousand dollar huh. price stamp is just too much for me. So. Yeah, it says if you run out of gas, at least somebody comes with a gas can. Oh, yeah, right. Bro, if you run out of battery, you can't even open your fucking door on a Tesla. Like, no, man. The Trizzle says the Nissan Z yeah. is expensive as fuck. Yeah, it is. It's like 65K. You're right. You're right. He's right. Oh, shit. All they got to do is, all they got to do is send out a software update and you're, they fuck your car up. Like, right. What? No. Oh shit, CV Tech. I forgot about CV Tech. <laughs> uh oh, some car companies are saying screw electric vehicles. I wouldn't have an electric vehicle. I mean, like, I, I personally, if I were to ever get one, I would still own a, a gas vehicle. Like, um, I would have both, you know what I mean? But, you know, if I wanted to, I guess, obviously save on the gas, I would just, you know, ride my electric vehicle during Monday through Friday. And then, and then on the weekends, bust out my gas vehicle and just, you know, take it to wherever, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing. That's the same thing, bro. Like poor people versus like rich people or well-to-do people or even whatever, like poor people can't afford that shit. You know what I'm saying? And where are they going to charge it? In, in their Who are the Kia boys? Well, we're here trying to figure out what Latrell's talking about. Who are the Kia boys? What are you, what are you talking about, Latrell? The Kia boys? Oh, God. Yeah. 
That shit was pretty crazy. That Kia, the Kia stuff going on. I have no clue what's going on with Kia, but I'm glad I didn't buy one. Bro, you like they had like a USB port thing where you, all you do is like, I guess you 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 take off the you take off the little part of the steering wheel or whatever steering column, mm-hmm. and you expose the USB port. You short out the USB port, and that starts the car. Oh Something shit! Like yeah. Imagine the police decide to turn your car off while you're driving. Right. Bro, I'm saying, like, that the technology be shit. Bro, once they chip us, once they chip us and they make us, you know what I'm saying, they make us put our our credit scores and our credit cards into our arms and shit, they can just, like, mm-hmm. they can fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? They can just say, all right, you can't do nothing. And they turn, they turn you off. They turn all your access to all your accounts, all your cars, everything. That's where it's going, man. Very true. They're trying to get rid of money. They're trying to get rid of cash. Dollars on the bill. If you're trying to get rid of money, I'll take it. Damn, we've been on for an hour already, MTR. <laughs> yeah, we can get off. I thought you were going to pass out after like 30 minutes, man, but I guess that beer helped you a little bit. Right? It woke you up a little bit, yeah. Me, I'm falling asleep because I haven't eaten anything, so I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm over here tired already. All right, well, shit, let's go, man. All right. All right, any uh, well, any final words for your the Magic Tech community, obviously? Tomorrow, getting a new phone, I uh, will be making another video tomorrow on the new phone, and you, so you can see the difference in quality. So, all right, guys, yeah. you hear that? Keep an eye out on uh, Magic Tech's channel. You know, I don't know, I don't. Are you gonna do a live unboxing when you get it? No, I, I don't think I can. I don't know. Gonna... I gotta look. Yeah, I think you might have to wait yet to email the people. That 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 I know much for sure because I. I have yeah, to email them gotta, once I get the H one. Right, I gotta make yeah. I gotta make the video and then email them the the video. Okay. Hey CB, you got, got you it. got the same one, bro? Did he get it? Yeah, CB CB's in with it also, I think as well. Okay. He was CB was being all paranoid about the email. Sheesh. Yeah. All right, Latra already said yeah. peace. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the TV's there. Well, yeah, mine mine will be here tomorrow, but I don't think we can make videos on it just yet. Well, they didn't ever say anything about an embargo, so I mean, we'll see what's up. I'll I'll just email the lady once I get it, and I'll be like, hey, so what? You know, what are your requirements? Because all all they said was like, hey, like you know, email us when you get the the device, and we can discuss more about the campaign. And I was like, okay. The anonymous company. Hmm. Hmm. Right. I guess we'll see what's up. I'll I'll message CV Tech about that later. I, I kind of want to know more info about that as well. So. Yeah. Or shit, make a group with me, you and CV Tech, bro. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, All right, man. Making group with us three. I went straight through the company. I got the email, but was told to disregard it since I'm getting directly through the company. Oh. Okay. I'm well. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll share my emails and I'll see what's going on with that. Cause, cause that person did say like, hey, like, um, you know that I don't know. I need, I need to go back and read the fucking email, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I already got the notification. I'm, I, dude, I already got the USPS thing telling me that I got a package coming tomorrow. So, I got it. It's coming. Oh yeah, no, I know mine's coming also. All right, guys. What's it? Yeah, make a make a little group with me, you and Steven Tech, bro. Maybe Mill Hustle. I don't know. Uh, Mill Hustles is off of Twitter, man. He's off social media, basically. He don't have a Facebook. He don't got Twitter. You got nothing. Wow. Mill Hustles being Mill Hustles. All right. He's, he's, yeah. But all right, man. You guys have a great night. I'll catch you all. Peace. Peace.